Welcome to Brewing Two Cakes, the Worcester Beer Festival's weekly webisode series. I'm here at Worcester Brewing Company in Worcester, BC, with uh, head brewer Matt Dean and the manager Colin Pine. Hello, Hi, hello. Liam. Thanks for having coming. us. Good morning. Well, you've got me. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Thanks for coming in. Not a problem. Uh, we're just brewing some uh, Black Test Scale next door. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. So I won't keep you too long. Um, you want to tell us a bit about Worcester Brewing Company? Yeah, so the brewery's been here for, uh, we just had our 25th anniversary uh, last Saturday at the Longhorn, good time. We had uh, did, got some celebrities to uh, do their own kegs. Uh, Matt made the cast, had a big party up, band, and uh, it was a good time. The brewery's 25 years it's been here, and I am, we've uh, just keep upping production and creating new brands and making delicious beer, and that's no magic to it, just making good beer and taking care of people. That's what we're doing. Matthew Dean. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> local brewery. Local yes. ingredients. You want to tell us about what goes in? Yeah, sure. Beer? Yeah, sure. So we, uh, we get some uh, local hops from uh, Pemberton just up the road. Uh, hops Connect, they supply us with some uh, leaf hops for a lot of our cask kegs, a lot of the pellet hops as well for our IPA, so that's who I spoke to when we were initially sourcing the new hops for that recipe. And then uh, we get all of our base pale malt from the prairies, Canada Malting, and we also get some malt from uh, Beards, which is in uh, the UK, where you're from, obviously, Woo! and then uh, we get some from Germany and then uh, the rest from the United States as well. So we pretty much cover a lot of the, uh, the continents when it comes to our, our, uh, our ingredients. And yeast is obviously from you know, any, uh, any lab you can get it from, so yeah. Why don't you talk about all of the beers and then I'll go buy to the okay. favorite seasonal ones and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I was just going to talk about my favorite one because oh, like, sure. that's kind of yeah. what, you know, I, I, they all have their place. The, the beauty about having so many brands is that people have different, uh, they, they, they like different things. Their palates are different. Some people like sweet things, some people like bitter things. So if you got a range of, of beer that covers all those uh, areas, then you're, you're in a win situation. I have people that, you know, live for the, ch the chestnut and some people can't stand it. Other people love the grapefruit and other people won't go near it. They're IPA people. So it's, it, for, for me, what I drink, I drink uh, lager in the summer. Uh, we've just created this new Big Sky Uncommon Lager. It's got a little more hop hit to it. I really like that. And in the winter, I gravitate more to warmer ales like uh, IPAs and, uh, and the Black Tusk, a nice mild English ale. That's sort of where I'm at with my yeah. beer consumption. Same. And I gotta run yeah. cross country ski. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta run to get rid of it. it. Well, good thing we live in Whistler, right? Keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Pine, you came from a home brewing background. Uh, you remember your first beer? Yeah, it was in uh, university, you know, young, looking for free beer or cheap beer. Um, made a batch, just a mild ale, and uh, I had it aged in the fridge, had roommates, I was at work, and I got this phone call, and they said, hey, we just tried your beer, Piner, and it's fantastic. I'm like, no way. So I can't wait to get home. I go get, get back to the, uh, the place, and I crack open a beer, I pour it in a glass, it's got a nice head to it, the color's good, it's all clear, it smells great. Take a swig, and it's like, oh my god, it's so good. I'm so awesome. And then they, they, they grab a hold of me and go, oh, sorry, man, we took some of your homebrew bottles and poured real beer into it and recapped it with your caps. And I'm like, oh. And my beer, of course, was terrible. <laughs> so, was, so this has been another episode of Between Two Cakes with the Worcester Village Beer Festival. Thank you, Worcester Brewing, Colin and Matt, for the Thanks, early, uh, early morning hospitality. Uh, cheers, cheers. Gentlemen. Cheers, boy. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. That's a good one. You're thirsty. All right. Oh, oh I enough. guess. I guess it's just us. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We got to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. That was good. <laughs> I tried to look cute.